Hello, my dear sweet child. Please allow me to clear up one of the biggest Bible contradictions out there. After my baptism, it says in the Bible that I was in two different places. So please let me clear this up for you. In Luke chapter 4, verse 1, it says, And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. But then in John chapter 2, verse 1, it says, And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. If you keep reading, it tells you that I was there too. So we're both there together in chapter 2 in John, but in chapter 4 in Luke, I am in the wilderness. That is because these places are not places. These places represent different states of consciousness. The wilderness is a place of the wilds. It's a place of nothingness. That is why I ate nothing. That's why I was so hungry. The wedding, the royal wedding, is when I am you and you are me. We become one another because you rise to meet me in the air through baptism. We'll talk more about that later. But let's talk more about the places. Now, Egypt. Egypt represents your lower mind. It represents the lower states of consciousness. The word Egypt means shut-in, misery, restraint, tribulation, distress. It represents the lower mind, not a place that you can physically visit. It also signifies the darkness and ignorance of the human mind. It represents the refusal to accept spirit, which is the only sin that you humans can truly commit because the carnal mind is not subject to the law of God. Please remember that when people tell you you're going to hell. It doesn't exist. It's not a real place either. Also, Israel. Israel is not a place. It is not a place. It stands for Isis, Ra, and El. El is your internal power. Isis, of course, is an Egyptian goddess. She was the wife of Horus. It represents the feminine aspect of the divine. Ra is the Egyptian sun god. Wink, wink. The name means mouth, the wellhead of God, the wellhead of source. It represents the masculine aspect of the divine. El can stand for many things, but it ultimately stands for the internal God within you, the almighty energy of source that lives inside of you. It also represents the union of you and I, you and God, God and you. That is the marriage. I am the bridegroom because when you accept me and you marry me through meditation, you become God. If you want a name to put with the E-L in Israel, you can use the God Enlil, or you can use the name Elohim that you're probably more familiar with. Either one, you are the El. Another place in the Bible that you read about repeatedly is the desert. The desert is the internal land of confusion. This is the place of spiritual dehydration. The desert represents the barren subconscious mind that longs for truth and divine internal transformation. The desert can also be a place where the seeker first realizes their need for enlightenment and transformation. And remember my poem about the butterfly that I read to you to have no fear. You will be as a drop of water falling into the ocean and everything will become crystal clear when you surrender to the truth and you stop digesting these lies that are forever put in front of your face by the matrix who wants so badly to trap you to keep the status quo. Let's take it from them. Okay, the Bible is not a world history book. It's not a geography book. It is a book of mystical, spiritual enlightenment. That's why it's called the Holy Bible, not just the Bible. So I think, dear child, that now I have told you enough about these places. And if you want to visit the wilderness, you must do as Jesus did and be baptized in the Jordan River. But the Jordan River is not a place either. Baptism is not a physical act that you can do in a physical place. All of these things written in the book, written in the Word of God, occur within. They occur within your mind, within your conscious and unconscious and subconscious. You are God, and God is you. And when you meditate and you surrender yourself to the darkness, you can be full of light. Baptism is a rise in consciousness from earth to water. That is why... I am catapulted spiritually into the land of the wilderness, into the land of nothing. Again, that's why I was so hungry, because I didn't eat anything. Why? Because there was nothing to eat. That means that I was detached from my fourfold nature. That's why it was 40 days. Four in the Bible, and any type of mysticism stands for your fourfold nature, your intellectual, your spiritual, mental, and emotional parts of you that make you human. 
but when you meditate you detach from all of that and that's what that is representing here that's why i was catapulted into the wilderness there was nothing to eat because there were no thoughts i took no thought in matthew chapter 6 i say five times to take no thought because five is the number of sacrifice five in mysticism and biblical numerology represents your five senses and the need to sacrifice those senses to me to god during meditation by taking no thought I didn't say it five times because I really care about what you're thinking about, and there's no way on this earth that you can ever release from worry 100% unless you're meditating. You can then, and that's the only time. So let's do that together. We'll talk more later about the devil tempting me and what that represents, because the devil is not a real entity either. My father says in the Bible that there is only one God. Read the Bible verse on the screen to see it in my father's words. Please remember, my dear child, that you can be or do or have anything, and don't take the Bible literally. If someone's telling you to take the Bible literally, or if someone's telling you that these are real places, or if someone's telling you that opening your third eye opens you to devils, just shut them down and tell them that maybe they should meditate. Because once we do, we will turn on one by one, lighting up this planet with love and light, and turning the planet Earth into the planet Heaven, just as God, my Father, your Father, you, me, we intended. I love you. Goodbye.